Hey, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy. I'm back again with another wine review. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You catch me looking outside because the sun is shining, the snow has melted, and it's starting to warm up. And I just love this time of year. Well, I like all the seasons, but this time of year is my favorite because it's spring, and spring leads into summer. That means the snow is gone. It's, it's starting to warm up. You know, it's going to be sunny. We're going to have fun. We're going to be able to go outside and play and dance and sing. You know, whatever you do in the spring and summer. But I totally look forward to that because, you know, I spent fall and winter, you know, with my full body wines, my ports, my sherries, you know, my hearty meals. But now I want to lighten things up. You kind of like lighten the load a little bit. You know, so as I transition food, I myself like to transition my wines to something more light, fun, refreshing, crisp, fruity. That's me. That's how I roll. So now, for those who are new, these are wines that you can find on your shelves. These are everyday wines you can find on the shelves of your local liquor store, grocery store, and some wine shops. I go through and make selections to a very, very simple review, giving you my opinion on my palate. Uh, simple, very easy. Thumbs up. I recommend it. Give it a try. You won't be disappointed. At least I hope you won't be disappointed, but give it a try. Thumbs up. Three quarters. You know what? I would drink this if I'm at a party or at a friend's house and they pour me this wine, I would drink this wine. And depending on how much I enjoy it, I just may go out and buy myself a few bottles and keep at home so I can share it. And then maybe some of those wines can probably age. I never know. Sometimes you can find some jewels. Halfway. Mmm. Not not that big of a fan. It doesn't work for me. But you know what? Again, it's my palate. It does not mean it doesn't work for you. I'm just giving you a guide, you know, just a kind of roundabout idea. But I want you to give it a try. Let us know what you think and let us all know what you think. Thumbs down. You know, I'm going to stand for it. If I go thumbs down the wine, I'm telling you, don't even bother with that wine, okay? Just don't even waste your time. But, again, this is my opinion. That means I definitely won't waste my time again. I waste my money on that wine. Unless they do some improvements. All right. So now you can see new here on the bottle. So for those who are already familiar with this wine, maybe you may already know what that new stands for. But this was a wine that I did a review of probably two seasons or two years ago. I did a review of. But it's just a fun wine because it's a wine that I sold in my store when I had a wine shop. And uh, attending some of those portfolio tastings back in the day, it amazed me that a lot of people didn't pick this up. But definitely in my area, nobody picked it up. But I was doing a transition because I would I would change over my complete inventory by the season. So fall and winter had its its wines. Spring and summer had its wines. And so this was in the spring and summer changeover. And I, I tasted these wines for the, for the store. And this was one of the ones I brought in at that time. Again, I can't believe a lot of people passed on that. So let's get straight to it. The wine is New Age. Now... This is a different label, and it's probably a different label from the last time I reviewed it. I have to check into that, but this is a different label. Back in the day, it was a much broader, much thicker label, you know, but you see that image in the back of the lady with the sunglasses? Well, back in the day, she still was a lady, this lady with sunglasses on, a lipstick, beautiful red lipstick, but she wore a sun hat. Because she was sitting at the beach, the sun was shining and drinking her new age wine, you know. So she was just, just jamming, just having a good time. So it's amazing, you know, how over the years, if you've been drinking a wine or following a brand over the years, and how every so many years the brand changes its look, you know. But for those who've had the wine or have those wines, we know the wine. You know, it changed the look, but we know the wine. But this is great. So new age, a uh, wine that I've always enjoyed, you know, and uh, hopefully that... It, it, it coming into this time, it's still going to be great. So New Age wine coming at an alcohol of 9%. Some would say 9%. That must be a sweet wine. Well, it does say sweet wine here. You know what? But I think the term sweet is kind of misleading. You know, but that's a whole other story. This is coming from Argentina out of the Mendoza area. Blended with two grapes. All right. Grape number one. It's going to be Torrantes. You know, I don't know if you ever had a Torrantes before. T-O-R-R-O-N-T-E-S. Torrantes. You know, look it up. Check it out. And then the next rib is going to be Sauvignon Blanc. All right, so whoa. Sauvignon Blanc and Torrantes. Well, this this could be, could be pretty interesting. So New Age White is what it's called. They also do a red and a rosé. But today we're focusing in on the... White. I guess I should pick up the rosé and the red. But I will tell you this. 
Each of those wines make fantastic sangrias, and just like the white. So we we'll see what happens. I did discover though, it's a screw cap. That's why you know how I feel about that. But I did discover that uh, when I had this laying down in my refrigerator, that I didn't have the screw cap on tight enough. So hopefully, I still have some fizz because there's a slight fizz to it, and that I didn't get a lot of air into the bottle. So there is still some fizz left. Not much fizz. Uh, that I would want to see, but there's still some fizz left. You can look at that. You can see that. So there's some effervescence, some bubbles, tiny bubbles exist here. So now we got citrus. We got melon notes here. Mm, just right here, the nose. Mm, mm, mm. But more melon, more ripe fruit. Again, this is that time of the year where we want to have fun. Okay? We have a lot of fun. I mean, you, they have this recipe on the back of this wine called a tincture. All right? How, how simple is this? Pour this over ice. Squeeze a lime. Done. Okay. Fun wine. Tardy new age and grapefruit. The same thing. One part new age, one part grapefruit. You know what? I would spike this with a little bit of tequila but or vodka or gin, but that's just me. Hey, maybe I do a cocktail for this. Look out for it. So let's take a look at that wine. You know, uh, yellowish, yellow green ish color. Nose again. Ah, just very, very fruity smelling. I mean, just fun. All right, you know how I feel about it. Even though it has bubbles, I still need my mouth to water. And even though I left the cap, I left the cap slightly ajar, <laughs> I was slightly open. I may lose some of my fizz, but I still shouldn't lose acidity. Well, let's find out. Mm. Mm. Wow, acidity is there. I still got a little fizz there. Now. It puts me in mind, you get that Sauvignon Blanc on the fence, but going in, which is Tarantes, but puts me in mind of like a Moscato like type wine, the, the flavor of the grapes. You know, subtle floor notes, you know, but very well blended, and that's the Tarantes. Within that, the acidity from that Sauvignon Blanc kicks in. You know, then you got the fizzy fizzy just making it fun. Okay, my little fizz. When it was full fizz, yeah, I had a great time with it. I'm still having a great time with it. So that was my rinse. I enjoy that. Now for the taste. Mm. All right. So, if you are a sweet wine drinker, and I use that term loosely, if you're a sweet wine drinker, you're going to enjoy this. Or I should say this. If you're a Moscato drinker, you're going to enjoy this. I think it's a fun wine. I'll tell you this, though. If you're a dry wine drinker, you'll still have fun with this. Just don't let it go flat like I did. Okay? But I think you'll still have fun with this wine. That's a wine that I've always enjoyed, and I still enjoy it today. You know, and wow, this is nice. Let's get another taste so I can tell you what I think of it. Give you an easy grading. Mm. Now, does that sweetness because, you know, crazy me, let it go flat. I did have it before uh, I lost my fizz, you know, but it's not overly sweet. It's more like a sweet fruit going on here. So I'm going to give it a three quarters, okay, because if you're a dry wine drinker, you still may find it too sweet, If you're, if you, but it still be fun. If you're a sweet wine drinker, I think you're going to enjoy this. You know, here's an alternative to your Moscatos. You know, you will enjoy this wine. All right, so Wisconsin Wine Guy, New Age. Sun and Fun, coming out of Argentina, going to give that a three quarters. And I would have given it three quarters, even if I hadn't lost my fizz. So that's your Wisconsin wine guy. And there you have it. Let your palate be the guy selecting your wines. And we'll see you next time. Bye.